Coach Jay actually oversees and has a lot to do with the T-shirt Envy that prints our T-shirts. The extraordinary ones that have the rotary logos since 1922, the beautifully designed, uh, he oversees that. But he's gonna to talk to you about something else that, that strikes close to my heart and you'll see why in just a moment. Coach Jay. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? All right. All right, nothing better than to start out your day, get invited to be a stranger, then talk in a room full of strangers, you know, get your blood pumping, right? All right, cool. Well, yeah, my name is Jason, Coach Jay Hunter. They called me uh, Coach Jay. It's the name I actually picked up working with young people uh, throughout South Georgia. Um, I recently left the, uh, the automotive industry, corporate America, right? Um, and I came back home. One thing that I decided to do was to take on um, a T-shirt company. You know, it's printing custom print. Um, and I thought that, you know, coming out of corporate America, how hard could it be to, to scale a T-shirt business, right? Until we went out and tried to recruit people to hire. You know, being in the the, uh, the company on the day-to-day, -day, I'm able to, to meet uh, business owners. And the talk that we have, the local business owners, we keep running to the same thing. We don't have talent to hire from, especially at skilled positions. Ella has, has a whole plethora of resources and each resource that was supposed to have these people, nobody had anybody. You know, one thing about corporate America, it teaches you that um, if there is a problem, you fix it. Plain and simple. It doesn't matter. You know, either something's working or it's not. Just get to the bottom and fix it or we'll bring somebody else in to do it. Recognize and realize that there's a problem with not having this uh, skill force, you know, we went out and said, well, where are they at? And when I look on the news, um, just this year alone, you know, uh, and this is where the connector comes in, but just this year alone, there has been uh, almost 80 shootings. Out of those 80 shootings, 85% uh, involve people under age 30, right? So the question is, what is wrong? We have resources. We have people that need the resources but they're not there, right? So that's why we came up with an initiative called the Trades Up Initiative, right? Trades Up Tallahassee. And what we're doing is actually uh, getting with uh, the local organizations, the local business owners, um, and the local politicians, everybody who's who's, you know, getting with everybody so we can go to the table and be able to find out a way to put a solution that, quote unquote, puts butts in seats, bottom line. What we need is we need uh, sponsors, we need collaborators, we need ideas, we need resources. We're having a meeting uh, this Sunday at our store at 5 p.m. And this is where we're actually putting our teams together and revealing our plan in detail. And uh, me personally, I'm extending my hand to anyone in this room who is interested in being a part. I uh, greatly appreciate it for your time. If you need anything made, you can also hit me too. <laughs> Coach Jay, thank you so much. But we all hear, hear this about guns and shootings and get rid of the guns and so on. You've got to change the hearts. And that's what he's talking about. Match up a young man, give him a vision, show him a trade, show him a way he can make a good life for himself.